lesson here for a meditation a day. Today, our beautiful guest meditator is Eileen Murray. She's coming to us from Canada, and she's going to be helping us fall in love with love. So Eileen, thank you so very much for being here. Thank you, Ruth. And hi, everyone. Well, this uh, falling in love with love came came to me, oh, within the last year about in another way, we can talk about it from the, the consciousness of the transcendent. And in the, the love, the pure love, is a love that looks for nothing outside of itself. Because everything that we look for and seek for is already there within that vibration, that consciousness of love. And it came to me in a meditation when I was feeling, I was looking for something and this voice came, this presence was there, um, just presenting, falling in love with itself. And it's a very deep place within us because we have to really pull back our view from the outside world, from the world of effects. And the world of effects is the consciousness of where we are abiding in the moment. So if we're dissatisfied, we're looking for something. And often we think if we get it, it will that will bring us happiness. And it may for a few minutes, but it's still in the consciousness of duality. And when we can fall in love with the love that is pure and has no opposite, then and learn to abide in that and rest in that, then everything that it is starts to reveal itself. So we don't, it's like going to the well within ourselves, the well of our own essence, that pure, unconditioned love and staying there. And no matter what goes on, like even in Christian scripture, there's a passage where Jesus says, where where you are in hell, where hell is, I am there. And you can apply that to any situation. And so when we stay with the love and allow it to do the work, and we learn to fall in love with love for its own sake, not to get anything, because anything, we're, like I say, anything we're wanting to get is already there. So when we can train ourselves to stay and fall in love with love. And when we start to meet our opposites or the discordances, then we have a, a powerful way to be present, not dismissing anything, not to trying to make it better, but realize right exactly where that illness is, where that disharmony is, love is there. And we stay as that vibration. And so with that, I'd like to close your, I invite you to close your eyes. I want to read this. When I was thinking about doing this meditation, I love how the universe works. It gives us what we need. And I came across this passage that Albert Einstein has, had written a letter to his daughter. And I want to read it to you because it addresses this perfectly. In the, in the late 1980s, Lasseri, the daughter of the famous genius, donated 1,400 letters written by Einstein to the Hebrew University with orders not to publish their contents until two, day, two decades after his death. This is one of them for Lasseri Einstein. And this is Einstein's quote. When I proposed the theory of relativity, very few understood me, and what I will reveal now to transmit to mankind will also collide with the misunderstanding and prejudice in the world. I ask you to guard the letters as long as necessary, years, decades, until society is advanced enough to accept what I will explain below. There is an extremely powerful force 
that so far science has not found a formal explanation to. It is a force that includes and governs all others and is even behind any phenomenon operating in the universe and has not yet been identified by us. This universal force is love. When scientists look for a unified theory of the universe, they forgot the most powerful unseen force. Love is light that enlightens those who give and receive it. Love is gravity because it makes some people feel attracted to others. Love is power because it manipulates, it multiplies the best we have and allows humanity not to be extinguished in their blind selfishness. Love unfolds and reveals. For love, we live and die. Love is God, and God is love. This force explains everything and gives meaning to life. This is the variable that we have ignored for too long, maybe because we are afraid of love because it is the only energy in the universe that man has not learned to drive at will. To give visibly to love, I made a simple substitution in my most famous equation. If instead of E equals MC2, we accept that the energy to heal the world can be obtained through love multiplied by the speed of light squared, we arrive at the conclusion that love is the most powerful force there is because it has no limits. After the failure of humanity in the use and control of other forces of the universe that have turned against us, it is urgent that we nourish ourselves with another kind of energy. If we want our species to survive, if we, are afraid, if we are to find meaning in life, if we want to save the world and every sentient being that inhabits it, love is the, own, is the one and only answer. Perhaps we are not yet ready to make a bomb of love, a device powerful enough to entirely destroy the hate, selfishness, and greed that devastate the planet. However, each individual carries within them a small but powerful generator of love whose energy is waiting to be released. When we learn to give and receive this universal energy, dear Lassari, we will have affirmed that love conquers all. <clears throat> it is able to transcend everything and anything because love is the quintessence of life. I deeply regret not having been able to express what is in my heart, which has quietly beaten for you all my life. Maybe it's too late to apologize, but as time is relative, I need to tell you that I love you, and thanks to you, I have reached the ultimate answer. Your father, Albert Einstein. As I was reading that, I had shivers because it's a truth. And we often misunderstand what love is. We often say we love something because we're still looking to want to get something. And so in that, we're separate from love. But when we can choose through our intention that I want to fall in love with love itself, for itself, then we're in a new book. And this love, as Albert Einstein has said, I see, I see it has no opposite. It's transcendent beyond love and hate. So I invite you to bring your attention deep inside from and bring your attention from the mind into the heart.
and feel, if you can, the light within your own body, that life force. That pure life force that has no opposite. Any form can dissolve and change as it does through life. We start off with a baby, ourselves as a baby, as an infant. Then that body changes and grows. And then it changes and grows. But that which is always there, creating that change and alignment is that life force, that pure life force. And that pure life force can also be known as love. And if you can't feel it, see it there anyway. It's the intention that matters. It's the deep desire of the heart. And with that intention, can you open to it fully as best you can? This is the I am that I am. Out of this comes you as form, as your personality, as your human name. And if you can, Stay open to that love and see yourself coming out of that love, your form, your personality. But stay with the love. The love gives birth to itself as you. And breathe. And allow that love to grow stronger within your consciousness, within your awareness. Can you open to it as being the greatest treasure that you are? I am this love. No matter what happens in life, no matter, no matter what is happening within my body, within the sensations, within my body, love is present. And then think of some situation in your life that's uncomfortable. And see it out before you. And allow this love that you are to be present to that situation. Stay as the love. Rest as the love the love is there it all oh, the love is ising it has no opposite it is love is love is present right where this situation is happening and the situation will change, it may come and go, but love is always there. It is there, present fully. And 
And now let's take some situation in the world. Allow the love that is universal, that is you, that is present everywhere. It's not bound to your body. It's not bound to your mind. It's infinite. Love is infinite, has no boundaries. It's not made of matter. It's spirit. And with your intention, allow that love to be present right where that world situation is happening. It's not trying to fix it, nor change it. If there's any judgment or hatred that is present, allow love to be present right in the midst of that. It's indestructible. And breathe. And now uh, let's invite all the realms that's, that are of less love to be present in that world situation. The chorus of the infinite love. And watch what happens. As you stay present as the beholder of love. You don't move out of love to try and do anything other than be it. And then bring your attention back to yourself. And let us ask this love that you are, this I am, this infinite spirit of love that is present everywhere, that is present within your body, running your body. What wants to be birthed in your life out of this love that you are? Allow to see what wants to come forward in some way that you don't know about yourself, that it wants to bring to awareness so that it can be lived more fully as you and through you. I am that. I am that I am. And where there seems to be anything out of alignment, love is present. And there is something that love in its continual activity is giving through me to itself as me. And allow whatever came as an object, an idea, a picture, bring that into the heart, to the one infinite heart of love that abides within you. And allow that, whatever it is, in its essence to expand through your entire body and out through your energy field. And allow that quality to be present through all creation. 
For what is given to us as oneness is there for everyone in its essence. And breathe. And if there's anyone that comes to mind that you know, that you feel that is open, can receive this, just see that love being present to them. I love being in love with love. I love love for itself, for the fullness that it is. And I claim that this love that is, as Einstein has said, as the great masters have said, is present everywhere, active now. And I'm grateful that it has come to my awareness that that is what I am and that is what is at the essence of every form of every person and every form. Love gives birth to itself. Love is ising, giving birth to itself everywhere. Now. No matter what is shown in the senses behind that and in the essence of that is love. And it is giving birth to itself. And thus the new creation, the new life is being birthed through my consciousness. And so it is. When you feel ready, open your eyes. Eileen, that was outstanding. Thank you so much. I, I feel like I've been to a lecture by one of the greats, honestly. So many things you said, I so totally appreciated. One of them was from Einstein's letter, perhaps we're not ready to create a bomb of love. <laughs> well, why not? And And we can each create a bomb of love. When I think of the word bomb, it, it feels violent. And I, you know, I maybe there's a, a better term for what we might want to personally create and send out to humanity, a, a softer version of a bomb, perhaps. But I loved that idea. Well, I'm going to share something uh that I I had these consecutive dreams uh back in the late 70s, or early 80s. And this is why I love working with dreams. But in the first dream, the uh, there was a bomb of plutonium, but it was spiritual plutonium. And it was dripping like raindrops all over the earth. And then the next dream was the spiritual plutonium was running through my veins as the blood in my veins. And the third dream was... I was swimming through a, a lake of spiritual plutonium. And when I read this about Einstein, about the bomb of love, I thought that's what that is. And that's what's here now, you know, for us. And all we have to do is ask to be the, the transparency of that because it, it is our nature. And I think it's happening in ways uh, that people may not even realize because we've been so indoctrinated Otherwise, I'll just be polite. 
you know, I, I really see that it is there. And I often see it in ways with dogs. They live pure joy, a lot of them. And they're just, it's like joy has has found an outlet that it can express itself. And because they don't have any limiting beliefs, it can express itself as this dog or a young child. And we all have that with inherent within us. So it's there. Mm-hmm. We've got dogs and I. it just feels to me like they are just divine love. Yes. In fur. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Yeah. I, I really see that. And uh, yeah, I just see, see that. And I just see that people have it within them. I, you know, I was, um, I was out the other day and I saw this, these two homeless people and I stopped. I, it was at, it was at the library and I was pulling in to drop off some books and I saw them there and I had, I usually carry some things around with me uh, that they can recycle, take to the recycle and get some money for it. So I went out and I asked them if they'd like to have this. And this woman looked at me and, you know, it's like when somebody has lost everything, sometimes they're just there as their pureness. And she was there with art supplies drawing in this little book and it moved me so much because in her expression of gratitude of this little gift that i gave and um she her face was just pure love it was just pure love and i don't think that she would see that but it was there how oh, sweet and i think we often have that in in our kindness with one another or when we're present in one another that's that love and we can so dismiss it like the mind with its programs will come in and say that doesn't mean anything and so that's where we have to catch it and just i i came across this statement that i love for myself no matter what's going on in if i'm thinking if there's a pain or a discomfort or i'm judging or something like that i just said that's that's not who i am and then I, then I switch to the I am, but I'm not judge. I'm not judging what I caught. I'm just realizing that isn't, that's a limitation. And and I by saying that's not who I am. Then love can be present right there. So if we can find a phrase that can break the spell mm-hmm. of our thinking or of our limited thoughts, and and connect to that love that we are, then we're falling in love with love. That's beautiful, Eileen. Friends, I have had the profound opportunity to work one-on-one with Eileen, and I highly recommend it. Eileen, if folks want to know more about you or even sign up for a session with you, how do they find you? They can find me through my email, M-U-R-R-A-Y-5-0 at gmail.com. And I'm happy to have a conversation if somebody wants a session or work with a dream. My uh, website, the Akashic Record website, is eileenmurray1.wixsite.com forward slash the new creation. Thank you. So, Eileen, thank you so very much. For being here today friends this is one of those meditations you might want to send to yourself in facebook messenger so you can come back to it time and time again eileen thank you and friends thank you for being here thank you for being open to spiritual growth and that love that love which is you so take good care god bless we'll see you all soon bye now